In this video, we're going to take up the example from the previous video where we calculated the surface integral by brute force. In this one, we're going to show how we can use the divergence theorem to simplify our calculations. So to refresh your memory, the divergence theorem is the surface integral over a surface enclosing a volume of a vector field V. It's the same thing as calculating the volume integral of the divergence of V over the volume that's enclosed by this surface. Okay, so to be able to use a divergence theorem, instead of evaluating this side like we did in the last example, we're going to look at this side. So we first need to calculate the divergence of V. In this case, it's just two components. So it's just that. So this is the divergence, the partial derivative with respect to x of the x component of a vector field, which is 3x, plus the partial derivative of y of the y component of our vector field, which is 2y. And this is simply equal to 5. So this means that our surface integral is equal to the divergence we found was five, it's a constant, so we can take it out of the integral times the triple integral that's calculating the volume of the sphere. And this is very easy, we already calculated the volume of the sphere. This is four pi radius of your sphere cubed over three. And this gives you 180 pi. So it gives you the exact same result that we found in a couple of pages by going through and evaluating the surface integral. In general, it's not always true that the volume integral is easier to evaluate than the surface integral. It usually takes some experience to be able to know or some quick mental calculation to be able to know which side is easier. But keep in mind that it's not always true that this side is easier to evaluate. Sometimes this side is complicated and you need to go through the surface integral. Okay, so this example showed that we can do in a couple of lines what it took us to do a couple of pages by using the divergence theorem. 